How's it going guys? Brian Cusco here at Triple B. As we march on down the line through our recent series of updates by species, we find ourselves ready to handle the scrub pythons. You're watching Triple B TV. Scrub pythons were formerly known as Morelia amethystina and more recently as Somalia amethystina. This amazing species hails from Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Australia. They are actually the largest native snake species in Australia. Now I decided to keep this species because I heard that as far as non-venomous species go, they were fairly challenging to handle. Now when I tried to pull the male out, he may try to prove that theory right. I got these snakes from Dan Maliri. Dan is a very knowledgeable keeper, and he has a YouTube channel that you may have seen called DM Exotics. Really cool stuff, you guys should check him out. Uh, Dan told me a story about how a large scrub python with a head about the size of his hand clamped down on his hand with its teeth. And scrub pythons have very long teeth, and he said that he couldn't feel his fingers for a long time after that. So definitely a species that you want to give a lot of respect to and be cautious while handling. Okay, so let's check them out. Now usually I would use a hook to get this guy out, but just for you guys' sake, I'm not going to. And I'm gonna kind of let him come out on his own. And I had him in a much bigger enclosure and he just hated it. So now I've got him in this enclosure, little tub. He seems to be doing a lot better. He's eating and he seems less stressed than he was in that, in that big thing. Even though now that I've touched him, he's gonna be a little bit something. He usually pisses on me, or at least on something when I first pull him out. But, awkward. No pee, no pee pee. Thanks, buddy. So they do tend, they do have a little bit of musk and you can tell by the way they look at you that they're just ready for something. I'm trying to get the camera to focus better here. It's just not happening. Come on, camera. Thank you. Don't be a punk. Here, let me see if I can do something. Don't. No. <laughs> eh. That. Focus on that. Thank you. Jeez. Autofocus can sometimes be a real pain if it doesn't do what you want it to do. Now, thankfully, you can see the snake nice and in focus, and he is a beautiful boy. And he's being very, very good right now for you guys, and for me. He's been known to take a couple swings at me here and there, but right now, he's just being on his best behavior. So nice. Thanks, buddy. One of the coolest things about these little dudes is, well, they're little now, but I just love the way they, they posture up. And he's, he's definitely in super, um, curious mode right now. Not a lot of posturing, just kind of checking stuff out. Let's see if I can zoom in real close here on his face for you guys and get a nice, there we go. Look at that face. Is that a beautiful face or what? All right, you know what, let's try it. Let's take the female out, how about that? Now the female, I was able to put in this much larger enclosure and she didn't seem to be too stressed out about it, which is awesome because now she's got this little perch that she can kind of climb on. She's not using right now, but she does use it a lot. Since scrubs are fairly arboreal, I thought it was awesome for her to have. She also seems to be in shed, so the male was actually in shed too. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, doing an update on two snakes in shed. But, you can see she's a little bit bigger, and she also happens to be a little bit cleaner. The male has a little splotch on him that you couldn't see in this video, I'm sure, but as you can see, very, very long and slender python. And she, I mean, I can just, I can pet her under the chin. She's a really awesome snake. Very quick, very on point. When they S up their whole neck, like they have very, very long necks. And when they S them up like this, I'm gonna bump her back a little bit, it's just really cool. But she, I mean, I, I couldn't do this with the male touching the face and all that kind of stuff. She's just become very, very chill. 
Super awesome. <laughs> Digging her face down into my finger. Even though she's patternless, you can see there's still that black tipping that happens around the uh, scales on the head there. Creates a little definition. It's really, really cool. And maybe you can see some of the iridescence that shows up on these guys. Similar to that of a reticulated python. But again, she's in shed, so looking a bit more drab than she usually would. Still, all in all, a really cool species. And once these guys get bigger, it's just going to be more and more amazing handling them. Uh, right now, they're being very good, like I said. And she usually, as I said, is better than the male. I hope he is, <laughs> is like her when he gets older, because I don't want to take a hit from one of these guys when they're adults. I'm trying to mellow them out now so that they'll be easy to handle. And they can also maybe be on the educational team which would be fantastic. That's what we're going for. All right, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below and let us know how we're doing. And for all my subscribers, are you enjoying this update by Species? I hope so. And thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, next week, we'll be talking about boa constrictors. And until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. Scrub Python mentality hated it. <laughs>